Hello everyone! Welcome to Faye and Felice channel! Today is Experiment Tuesday. Yes, we are showing experiments on Tuesday every week. Okay, let's get started! They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Our beloved apples are full of vitamins. Unfortunately, they also have a tendency to turn brown very quickly after being sliced. Who wants to eat an icky brown apple? Not me! Like all fruit, apples contain an enzyme that works within the cells to keep them alive. When we cut open the apple, we damage the apple cells and let oxygen from the surrounding air. The enzyme reacts with the oxygen, turning the apple brown. This process is called oxidation. But how can we prevent the apple from turning brown? There are some liquids like fruit juices and soda that contain ascorbic acid. This harmless acid can stop the oxidation process. Today, we are going to test some liquids and see if they are able to stop the oxidation process. These are the variety of liquids for our experiments. Plain water, salt water, lemon juice, apple juice, orange juice, and vinegar. To start, we carefully slice the apple into pieces. Then we immediately place one apple into each liquid. Make sure the liquid is covering the white part of the apple. After 10 minutes, we remove the apples from the liquid and place them on a platter. We absorb how the pieces have changed. The control was not treated with any solution. Therefore, the reaction was able to proceed and the fruits turned brown. The apple slice that were dipped in the water should have some brown, but not as much as the control. This is due to the water restricting the amount of oxygen coming in contact with fruit tissues. The apple slice dipped in the lemon juice should inactivate the browning enzyme. The pH of lemon juice is between 2.0 to 2.5. A lower pH means the substance is more acidic and the acid in lemon juice inactivates the enzyme to prevent browning. The apple slice dipped in orange juice should prevent it from browning. Orange juice contains vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, which is naturally found in lemons. The vitamin should prevent the browning reaction from occurring. The apple slice dipped in apple juice here has some browning. Apple juice has a pH between 3.5 to 4.0 because apple juice is less acidic than the lemon juice. Expect to find the apple juice didn't prevent browning. The apple slice dipped in white vinegar should prevent from browning. The vinegar has a pH between 2.4 to 3.0. Vinegar should be similar to the lemon juice. However, they could be slightly more brown. The apple slice that we dipped in salt water, uh, let's see. Salt water, just salt water salt. here, was the most effective in slowing the browning in fruit because the chloride ions in the salt inhibited 
the enzyme from working properly and the water cuts off the enzyme's access to oxygen. As a conclusion, the salt water and lemon juice slow down the oxidation of the fruits compared to the other solutions. All the other liquids except for the lemon juice and salt water should slow increase in the shade of brown. So there you have it! We observed another food reaction from Apple Oxidation Science Experiment! Hope you learned from today's episode. Bye!